first ever bar on the rod. Much better line, look at that. Put in the hard yards today, haven't we? Put in the hard yards. Well, we've got three quarters of a tank. So we'll have a look on the map. Because if we're just, if that's, if we're cutting across instead of doubling back where we've already been, we'll give it a go. So we've made the decision to cut across to Coin. Yeah, Coin up, yeah. Coin head. Someone will We don't know how to it. pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, but we thought, well, we've got we're a 34k here, return trip. We'll, um, we'll drop across to the western side of the island and, um, and just see what those camps are like while we're out here and yeah. then we'll actually go back and yeah find our camp for the next couple of days. So it said 17k on a 395 or 394. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic. Look where all these rocks have dropped off. That's, that's, that's I really epic. Wanna know, really wanna know. If I let me figure out where the road goes. Look at those big bits of Wow. Oh. Imagine the noise when they fell off. Yeah. We're probably standing on one now because this is all undercut here, eh? Yeah, that's insane. What a beautiful piece of coastline. Hopefully you can hear me. Have a look at this, would ya? I'm on a big undercut. A bit, bit nerve-wracking just quietly. Some mad reef there. You can see right along here, look at that sharp as cliff edge, and you can see there where the, uh, the actual cliff's fallen off, pretty hectic. Got some splashing going on over those ones at the end there. What was that? What do we reckon? Coin point? Coin. Coin. Well, it's O U O I N, isn't it? Kiln. 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll have a look here. So, we're just saying when we drove in here, like we're going to have a look. Here. Obviously, there's a, a boy there, lifesaver. Um, so, obviously, you can fish it. This is obviously a fishing camp for so, but I reckon you'd be half disappointed. Like, right, there's no shelter, as in, not from the sun. Like, the sun is the sun. You can put gazebos up and stuff. But it's just like you're in this big moonscape. You just get smoked with the wind the whole time. Um, yeah. But this is, uh, this was the, the reason. So this was the reason we, um, yeah, we want to sort of get out to most of the spots just so we could have a look because we definitely would love to come back here. We say that about every place. Everyone does. But um, being able to come back here one day and just say, well, we can mark that off. You wouldn't go there. You wouldn't bother. Um, and then you can get online and book because obviously we didn't know anything about the place. You can research it as much as you as you want. And we'll put this up on the video so maybe it helps someone. But, um, yeah. Sometimes you just like to check stuff out for yourself. And then when you get here and you say, oh, well, the, rev the reviews were right. I wouldn't go there. But anyway, coin point, I'm rambling on. Pretty spot. No two ways about it. It's a, uh, it's definitely a cool spot. If you love views and stuff. And I don't know what the fishing is, uh, like here. 
Bloody windy though. He's picked a nice line. Very soft in here, eh? Very soft. Bit of a snake track there, eh? Or is that a go? Has that got feet? No, it's got feet. <laughs> Thank God for that. Have a look at this, baby. We just found camp. <laughs> oh, yeah, we found where this is Sandy Point. Sandy Point. Oh, oh yeah. Pretty. Real pretty. Look oh. at that water. Oh, the birds that. aren't happy. Right. They're like, leave us alone. What are you doing here? Surely we'd be catching whiten and uh, flathead off the beach here, wouldn't we? So You'd maybe reckon. Maybe some Trevor's. It's a bit deeper than a with no? Yeah. Yep. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, With your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Are, are. Ooh. 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 There's something different about us A little bit of leader, I'm running 80 pound leader. There's still no real fresh marks in there, but these sharks, this started out, what is it now, like 250 mil? <laughs> it started out at two metres and they've just been slowly just breaking them off at different spots. So, see this, this is just the line I, the knot I run. They're not breaking that, but I'll tell you what, they're giving it a bloody run for its money. So I'm not a mad chunk. If I don't even know what you call that, I'll just learn it on YouTube. I think this is something we didn't think we'd need, like, to, to no, bring millions of. But anyway, here we are, nearly out of sinkers. <laughs> Done I've two reels. I've, I've got the other ones I can hang up in front of an Oscar wig, but not running sinkers. I'm, just, I'm at the point where I've got to run... I've got little light bean sinkers for catching flatty off the flats. I'm going to have to run 10 of them in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Bit like a big whacking stick out yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. set nice him shot. up again. Bloody sharks. On the old shovel. Is that a bit on him? Be You're alright if you could eat them, eh? Oh, the old biceps can work out. Oh, the biceps oh. are getting a workout. I'll tell you. Oh. Technique. Woo! This bicep. Might be small, but. He was just right here. Top on the hammer. Where's he going? Oh, he's out there. I've got him to shore, but. He took off. Are. He's a bit shore shy. Maybe a bit shore shy. Shore shy. 
There he is. Sorry for the shadow. Not happy. He's not fucking happy at all. Come on, mate. Give up so we can keep our tackle. Not happy. He's not happy. Is he a shovel or not? Hey. He's not a shovel, is he? I don't know what he is, but he's... I think so. Oh. Oh, yeah. Grab the rod, grab the rod, grab the rod. Grab the rod. Look at him. Look at his beautiful spots. Definitely a catch and release for the dog. Definitely a catch and release on this one. Oh, yeah. That's that wire twice, eh? I didn't come in for this. Oh. Where's your pliers? Hang on, mate. Hang on, Tiger. Really oh, he's got some weight about him, eh? Let him puff out and pat and do. We get it, mate. Hey, you big boy. We'll have you back in the water in no time. Come on, mate. Let's get your foot over. Settle down, Tides. Settle down. Settle down, brother. I don't think he understands that you're trying to help him. There we go. All right, mate, let's get you back in, eh? Oh, hey! You You're going to need a good wash. Hey, I can't hold him. <laughs> <laughs> don't, get, don't keep going backwards, dude. Hey, look out! <laughs> the big bagger! <laughs> Woo! Let's get him back in. Oh, off he goes. Good fun. How cool. I'm puffing. I'm blowing up. I just said to Fee, probably won't hear me because it's blowing 900, 700 up there, 900 down here. I just said to Fee, I'll just go down. I'm going to get onto a banger. Oh, look at him. Away. He'll come good. <laughs> He's a bloody worker. Yeah? On you go, mate. He's good now. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> good fun. Good fun. Beautiful white sandy beach. Yeah. Probably a little bit harder to spot a shark here. Yeah. Right as we were saying about sharks, there's one just swimming along next to us. We hummed and hard about bringing the paddleboard on this trip and some of the waters would have been so good to be paddleboarding on. But the sharks that we have seen, there's not a hope in hell um, that we'd be out there. Um, 
especially that one yesterday. I believe we've got that drone footage of that. It was a monster. Um, but yeah, these little baby sharks here, I'm not sure if this is going to pick it up or not, but the little dark spots must just be heaps of little um, bait fish. And he's just going through like a big hoover. You reckon they'd be pretty docile, they eat so much. Yeah, all this little grey area is just all fish. And these sharks are just having an absolute feast. But they're not getting that far up, are they? No. Driving on the dunes is not something we're going to try today, is it? <laughs> no, it's soft up there, eh? Oh, yeah. She's full powder. Like, you were sinking, like, straight to your ankles. Just walking in there, eh? Yep. Beautiful, eh? Beautiful. What do you reckon, legends? Have a look at that. Look at that. So pretty. Well, we're really putting Duster to the test on a couple of different scenarios. And he's just walking through everything. Bloody love him. Anyway, a few mods on the way, just to make life a little bit easier. But outside of that, car performance wise, he's a bloody legend. We love him. Bloody love him, eh? I love him. I don't, I'll tell you what though, any of you punters can tell me I'll turn traction control off and when you go around there you can't lay the boot into it because it just keeps the traction control comes on for some reason. I can see the Andy skid light coming on but the light says in there I've pressed the traction control button off and it says on the dash traction control off but it just won't it won't let you lay into it. <laughs> I want I want to hear it roar. Yeah. Right, right. This is Notch Point. Well Well this is the beach, yeah. Yeah, this is the beach. The beach at Notch Point. The actual camp's the other side of the point here. So there's a couple of guys here behind us. They've just popped down. They're trying out their new little dinghies. That looks like a good bit of kit. Um, and yeah, and the young fella here, I'm not going to film these people because too bloody sensitive now. <laughs> um, yeah, the young fella just caught a little 40 centimetre flatty out of here. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is this is a nice little spot. We, we, this, so this is the beach access. I'll just film you just in case there's any shark attacks. <laughs> After seeing so many, I'm not all yeah, that confident. <laughs> it's bloody beautiful though. And then have a look at this. You come from around the main beach, walk around here. You've got your own secluded little beach here. How good this? Hey? Imagine just perched up here for the day. Bit of shade. Oh, oh not really. Long time of day for show, really. It's, uh, stunning, isn't it? What's that big black thing in the water there? I don't know. Just a bit of weed, I think. Hopefully. This is stunning along here, though. Yeah, it's just a bit of weed. Oh, we don't really need to walk this whole beach. I think this is what it's going to be like right along here, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. If you weren't getting sharked all day, this would be the, the spot, wouldn't it? So out there, what, what, is that like the point of the island or what? Where is that? No, no, that's just the headland. So um, the beach where, uh, the beach we went to where all the sharks were behind the 
what was it, that coin station okay, yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the headland that you look at from the other side. Side of it, yeah. It's just a okay. headland, it's not anything. Most places have a like a resident dog. <laughs> Got a resident pony. Hey mate. What a life you're living. It'd be a great place to sit and have your brekkie. Yes, yeah, really well set up. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what to put in there, but it smells bloody good. Geez, that bar's tall. I can only just reach the top of the bar. <laughs> yeah, look at all the artwork though. It's all on like old tin, is it? Oh, look at the roof of the bar there. Yeah, it's an old tin. That. <laughs> that's clever. Yeah, that's really clever. Yeah, Lights are hanging off the old ladder. Here's what we do with an old tinny. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Just uh -huh. while we've been at the um, homestead, um, we did we did hear on the tracks that you could potentially get a bit of fuel. Yeah, that's all right. As it turns out, yes, they helped us out with a yeah. couple of extra jerry cans worth of fuel, and so we've got a bit of a safety net now, haven't we? Yeah, but I did, we did want to just grab, um, we did just want to grab 20 loaders just as a bit of a backup. And I said, Oh, mate, like, you wouldn't have 20 loaders, guys, mate, I've got enough fuel if you want some. You know, I said, Could we be pushing it to 40? He goes, Mate, if you want 40 loaders, I've got 40 loaders of diesel there for you. Let's do it then. So, yeah. and there's yeah. the killer. Uh, it was what four dollars yeah. forty a litre. Four forty a litre. <laughs> and look, to be honest with you, that's okay. Um, when I my, when we we're pumping the fuel, Phil, who's one of the other barge masters, um, him and Kieran, um, yeah, I'm a young fella, and and just said to me, mate, sorry about the price, you know, like we got it, and I said, mate, don't justify it to me, but he said, oh, just a lot of people piss and moan about, it. and I said, oh, I have no doubt they do, but look where we are. I mean. We're on an island. Yeah, we're on an island, and I don't know. We potentially would have got back to the overlander, but if we weren't going to get back to the overlander, we we're going to run out of fuel in the middle of nowhere. Right? Yeah, I don't know what your choice is. Four, 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 four. Not quite the adventure we were chasing. Yeah. This gives us the opportunity to check all those little side tracks. The guys at, at Dirk, uh, what is it, Homestead? Dirk Hartog Island <laughs> Homestead. <laughs> Absolutely He's struggling with it. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice web. That's a tongue twister. Dirt so, hard tog. We've asked the question to the boys, and it is okay to camp at the barge pickup point, and that's where we're going to be camping tonight. And there may be a chance that we're going to jump on the early. Um, so they do, when they head over to pick people up from the steep point side, they, if there's a load there, being our 79 in the morning, they'll take us across in the morning. So we might gain a couple of hours just to cruise around Steep Point and have a look, so that'll be meant. we get on this one, jump up in the rear end. Yeah. It's a beautiful sunrise. Shame to have to leave the island. But anyhow, shame to go, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> look at that sky. Oh. Yeah, it's There's Mr Barge. That's a bit wet. <laughs> we 
made it back to the mainland, back to Shelter Bay. Yep. A nice early barge. Um, you know, we're, we're actually meant to be a bit later, 8.30 to 9.30 was our time slot, but yeah. Brad was talking to Will on the island. He was the barge Phil. master. Phil. Phil. Oh. He doesn't need to be Will. He can be Phil today. He can be Phil today. <laughs> and every day. <laughs> and every other day. Just Anyhow, <laughs> nice young fella. Um, but yeah. he was the barge master today, so... Um, yeah, he said to Brad, like, yeah, if you are on the beach, um, I'll be there at 6.30, I can get you over there. So we get to start our day and our journey now to Steep Point a little bit earlier ahead of yep. schedule, which is awesome. 100%. Um, so, yeah, well... Another dunny there. Yeah, another dunny there, in case you wanted to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Steep Point, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm.